Okay, so today's podcast is gonna be titled "It's Okay to Let Go," and I'm here with China. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, do you think of anyone or any certain situation when I say it's okay to let go? <clears throat> mm. Yes, he will not be named. <laughs> he who will not be named. Yeah, it's all the more. Have did you let go of this person already, or you're still? Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Very much not. Very much still going. Okay. Why do you think you haven't let go of this person? I think it's mostly because I haven't had, like, a crush in so long. So it caught me by surprise when it happened. Like, it surprises me now how much it's affecting me in my daily life. Yeah. Because I've been single for about three years, but it, it caught me off guard. Especially when it catches you off guard, you don't mm-hmm. know what to do. Because I feel like when I like someone, I kind of go crazy. Like, I'm like, okay, like, what are you doing? What are you, like, you know? Like, everything in me was like, okay, I can be my 17-year-old self again and, like, try and play the games that I used to play as a 17-year-old, but I'm 21 now, so I'm like, you need to stop. So I I did the mature thing and was like, hey, I don't think we should be friends anymore because the person is unavailable. So I was like, I don't think we should be friends anymore because you are in a current relationship right now i don't think it's smart for us to do this oh or to be like as close friends as we yeah. are because i'm in developing feelings it's hurting so, you in the process yeah and, he and know it's me. the most grown-up thing i've ever done because we did it in person and i was like we need to talk and i don't think it's like smart for us to be friends and it like it's hurting and like it's not smart it's just how did he take that Pretty well, actually. Like, he was just like, I kind of knew. I, I just didn't want to assume. I felt kind of bad. But also, he he also said, like, um, I don't want to tell this person's no, business. But yeah. he was like, I don't have anyone to talk to about the certain things that we talk about. Because we're really, we're very similar in a lot of ways in, like, uh, media stuff. Like, the shows we watch, the books we read, like, the the movies we love. It's It's all pretty much the same. So we talk a lot about that, and we, we relate to each other a lot about that, and we like them for the same reasons. So he's like, oh, I don't really have anyone to talk to about this stuff. And I was like, me neither, but it's not what are we at. sacrificing like, yeah. for that kind of conversation? That's what I was saying, too. I feel like a lot of people are scared to let go because they're so comfortable. It's the comfortability mm-hmm. they feel. Mm-hmm. like. I'm sure he's very comfortable with, like, expressing like his like issues with you and i'm sure vice versa like you guys Mm -hmm. are very comfortable with each other so Mm -hmm. to let go of that Mm -hmm. people are like whoa like yeah what am i gonna have yeah but then again it's like you need to be by yourself sometimes to realize to like get through your own obstacles because Mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have people like now you're not gonna have that person and now he's not gonna have you so then it's like now what it's it's weird because like it's it's weird because i used to see him every day and now he doesn't he doesn't come where I am all the time anymore. He doesn't come by. So. What? <laughs> uh, you know who it is. Um, uh, <laughs> and, like, when I first met him, he he didn't say anything about having a partner. He didn't say anything about having anyone, like, a girlfriend or anything. So we all kind of assumed that he was single. We all yeah. kind of had a crush on him. He's very flirty by nature. So That's he got close to us pretty, like, quickly. And the moment he came in, I was like, I looked at him. And I looked back to my friends in the room, and I was like... It's like you knew. I You're was like, like oh, mm-hmm. no. Dibs. No. I was like, I was like mine, <laughs> mine, mine, mine. And then, um, you know, like, weeks later, we found out that he has a girlfriend. I found out, and I told the group. And I was like, unfortunately. And so I was like, okay, the crush is gone, because it was just a silly one. Yeah. And then, over the summer, um, our group of friends kind of hung out, and he was always there. And we always kind of gravitated towards each other more than the other people in the group. So, that, I was like, I had a full-on panic attack. I was like, oh, yeah. no. And oh, then you're no. like, I'm the other woman? And I was like, like I can't. I, this is like yeah, a, this is not me. Yeah, it's a boundary I'm not willing to cross exactly, ever. Exactly, yeah. And that it kind of sat on my guilt for so long. And mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. But isn't it kind of weird how he didn't disclose right. that he had a girlfriend? Because right. it's like... That's of two, like of two years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like even um the people in here, like all they do is talk about their significant other. My girlfriend yeah. this, my girlfriend mm-hmm. this. So if, like that's the first, that's one of the first things you talk about. Yeah. But um he just didn't, and that was, and we all found out at the same time because we I saw him walking with her, and a friend of mine knew him from high school, uh-huh. and he was like, oh yeah, that's this person, and that's his girlfriend, and I was like, <gasps> and I texted the group <laughs> and I was like, he has a girlfriend, <laughs> and but I was like. 
uh, that's like know. the worst though because it's just like what are you hi- like why are you hiding because you're hiding mm-hmm. like you know yeah and he could just be a really private person at the same time because we weren't like cl- close friends as in like we were talking about like real real, real stuff, stuff. <laughs> realness <laughs> we weren't like talking about that kind of stuff yet so like maybe he didn't feel comfortable bringing up like such a personal thing yeah do you feel that, like, you had to let go of him to find, like, just something else? Because I know in my relationships, like, there's this one guy I'm just, like, I just can't seem to, like, let go of. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, okay, how is this affecting my other relationships? Like, mm-hmm. I don't even want to talk to somebody because yeah. of the fact that maybe we might still have a chance. Do yeah. you think that happened, like, with you too? Like, yes. do you think there'll be more opportunities now? Not opportunities. I, I think so. <laughs> You're like <laughs> I, I think so. I have a weird loyalty to crushes, even if they're mm-hmm. just a crush. I'm yeah. like, but they're my crush. They're my crush. I I'm can't like, talk to anybody else. I can't. I'm uh, like, I'm not theirs. They're not mine. Yeah. Like we had one conversation about it. We both agreed that it sucked. The like that this happened, and we wish we could have just stayed friends. Like we wish that the feelings weren't there, or my feelings weren't there, not his. He didn't like no. <laughs> Like, mm, mm, mm. I'm like okay. No, he, he, I I didn't give him a chance to either. Oh, because okay, I was like, yeah. I this is what I want. I want to set this boundary. I'm just like someone your acquaintance is with. Like yeah. I'm not your friend anymore. Like we can't high cross. and by maybe high and by if anything. Basically, yeah. And like letting go of that or like telling him, I think was very much the first step of like going back out there and like finding someone else who I have things in common with. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Do you think, like, towards the end, it was making it, like, toxic or, like, you guys had, like, this type of, like, bad company? I don't think so. I don't think I ever let it go too far. Like, if we were texting too late at night, I'm like, okay, I need to go to bed. Like, this is something for your partner to do with you, not yeah. me. Like, I never text late with my friends. I'm like, yeah. I need to go to sleep. I always yeah. tell my friends, I'm a grandma. I have to go to sleep. I'm not. You're like, I'm not staying up for nobody. Yeah, I'm not staying up <laughs> not for even someone for you, I'm not. not even for my crush. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm not staying up for someone I don't. I'm not in a relationship with. Yeah. But um, it never got to that point because I wouldn't let it. And he also, I don't think, would have let it. Mm-hmm. Like, we never had that talk, but I don't think he would have let it go, go that far. So, yeah. I think he was just, at the end of the day, I think he was just being really, really friendly. A little too friendly sometimes. A little too friendly. friendly. Sometimes that's people's, like, demeanor is being too friendly, but it's like, you gotta shut it down when you yeah. have a Time and place. Time and place. Time and place. And the time is when you're with your girlfriend and the place is everywhere. No, like, the place is not with not, my other not in the yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe not here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, do you think that you were wasting time? That's like complicated because there was no one else in my life that yeah. I could have gone towards. like had the time yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think having this crush was very important because I was like I was so convinced for so long I was like I think I'm just gonna end up alone because I I don't have the patience to keep up with other people i don't have the patience to like yeah keep someone in my life like that until like he came around and i was like oh i don't mind like you're like we could the little (laughs) idiosyncrasies that he has that i would find so annoying with other people i was like oh this is kind of like it's cute it's whatever okay okay. and i was like (laughs) i'm like why is he giving low key (laughs) but i think for like self-development and like i think i needed to have that stupid crush in my early 20s to like yeah just to know what you to, want and yeah. what you don't want yeah. for later on. Because yeah. then that's why it's so important to let go. Yeah. Because you're not going to know any of that until you actually let go and you're actually completely done with the situation. Mm-hmm. Like, if you were still talking to him, mm-hmm. it would be like, oh, okay. But, You'd like, stuck in a cycle. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's like, there's no ending point until you actually end it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like people are, like, scared to do that because mm-hmm. they're just so comfortable with yeah letting things go on. Uh, my friends and I debated on whether or not to tell him because I I was consulting with them like I, yeah yeah I was tell I was asking them like what do you think and some of them were all for me telling him some of them were so against me telling him oh and I was like well what feels right to me and like I don't know just telling him and having the opportunity to let that go felt right yeah but you know I do miss having a friend like that. Yeah, it's just, see, it's just hard yeah, it's because just you're hard like, cause, yeah. there's no really in between, but like, you gotta pick your heart. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be stuck. You That's, don't, I'm gonna you have tattooed to, on me. You gotta pick your heart. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to be in that situation and like 
oh my god like he has somebody else but you know i like him i don't even know if he feels the same way Mm -hmm. but it's also hard to be like okay i like you i know you don't have the same feelings towards me Mm -hmm. we just gotta end it there Mm -hmm. but then a whole new cycle comes somebody else is gonna come Mm -hmm. and you're gonna laugh at that honestly in Mm -hmm. like five years and be like wow Probably, I was like, I thought I was, like... You thought. I was like, you really thought, girl. (laughs) You really thought you ate that one, (laughs) (laughs) No, it's like that, though. Like, it's crazy. I'm still having, like, an epiphany, I feel like. Because, like, this guy I was with for so long, like, I barely ended it, like, we were together or on on and off. I'm like, on and off is important Mm. because Mm -hmm. those are the worst. Mm -hmm. Since, like, 2019. Like, it's about to be 2024. That's what I'm saying. And why were those the hardest? The COVID. Like, I feel like because I was, like, so, like... Because you're, like, lonely. Yeah, I was, like, in a a room this size. I was, like, okay, yeah. hand told like over facetime though with gloves yeah with gloves, with gloves, <laughs> with gloves and, and a mask yeah. and some hand sanitizer yeah no worries exactly okay do you think you were okay i don't think you were selfish personally but do you think oh no him do you think he was selfish for like look <laughs> <laughs> there's a chance that this person might hear this yeah and i will say that there was a part of me that was really mad when he said i kind of knew or I, I speculated, but I didn't want to say anything. It's like, because, why didn't you? And I was like, know. well, if you had an inkling that a, a person outside of your partner had feelings for you or had a little crush on you, uh, that's the time to stop it and and reassess and yeah. talk. But, like, friend zone. <laughs> yeah, friend zone, exactly. Friends Just be like, oh my god, you're such a sister to You're me. such a slave friend. That's, that's, I love you so slave. I do that to so many people. I'm yeah. like, oh my god, you're like my older brother. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fair to him which is probably a little bit biased because i i still have f- very much feelings for this person it's i had a dream about him last night it was, okay it's so stupid. the dreams are wicked it was a full moon <sighs> so the, like two days the ago subconscious, it's okay. the like, subconscious is, is working against me really against is. letting go <laughs> <laughs> the whole <laughs> to get, point to get back to the point yeah. but to be completely fair to him i don't think that um like i'm i'm a year older than him which isn't a lot yeah but in girl world and boy world which it's is different. what we're cisgendered and like you know it's our mental stuff it, i'm a little bit i think a little bit more advanced only because i've had to be mm-hmm. like in past stuff that we won't get into but <laughs> not today not, not today. ever <laughs> this is not a therapy session <laughs> but um for for reasons like that i think i've had to mature a little bit more and you know, having friends who are 25, 26, like, knowing that I have a weird, like, catch-up moment with them. Like, I, oh, I feel like the child yeah. in this situation. I didn't, I, they didn't make me feel childish. I just felt like a kid because I was, like, I'm talking to people in their mid-20s and, you know, they're pretty rational human beings. And, yeah, and you're over here I was, like, like mm. I'm over here, like, why can't I be my 17-year-old self exactly. again? Exactly. And... It was so much easier. Yeah, it was so much easier because <laughs> you're not thinking about, like, I can't be petty because exactly. like I'm I'm old and yeah. ancient, but exactly. <laughs> as if twenty one is ancient, but like seventeen year olds have like an excuse of being like I am a teenager, yeah, I can, like I can do this, I okay? I'm just a teenager, girl, okay? Yeah, but I don't think he had that forethought of like I need to, I need to put her feelings first, or like you know I need to stop this. Yeah, and um, I knew that it was it, if something had to be said, it would be up to me. So, I don't think he was being completely selfish, but I think that he liked the idea that someone outside of his relationship was like had interest. To him. Yeah, yeah, and like, he's the first guy that um, I talked to. Like, I showed a picture to my friends, and my friends oh, were really? actually like, "Oh my god, you're finally attracted to a, a someone good looking cute, guy. at least." Yeah, because yeah. my standards have grown in the past three years. I've been single. Mm-hmm. Just. Not that much, but, mm-hmm. like, it they've grown, which is incredible for me. This is personal <laughs> progress. and But I think he he liked, I think maybe he liked it. He liked the idea, a, probably. Yeah, someone, someone was attracted to him outside of his girlfriend. Because he always goes on and on about how no one ever found him attractive in high oh. school. And I was like, I don't think that's, I don't think that's true. I think it's just a guy thing that to be so clueless to that. Yeah, those, like, pick people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just like, oh, you know, no yeah. one's ever told me that I'm cute, so I don't yeah. think I am. And yeah. I'm like. Nobody's told me how great Lush's hair before, so I didn't think I did, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm like, 
I get that you're young, so I, I'll give you grace for this, but, you know, it. I don't think he was being completely selfish. I think he just liked some of the attention I was giving him. Exactly. Which is fair, because I like attention, too. And I like the attention he was giving me, yeah. so. But it's, like, different attention when you already have... Significant other. Other. <laughs> other. We won't get into that. <laughs> Next yeah. episode. Next episode, guys. I'm going to say to it now. <laughs> no. So that was kind of like just like a wrap up. I just wanted to get like your perspective of like what it meant for you to let go. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know it was so recent. So that was good. Because we were both going through recent things, yeah. you know. Are you going to like do this with other people being like, what have you been... Because I think you should make this into a series. I would... I literally... Brain, should, I'm like, is, light bulb! This is a byline, girl. I know. This is, and it's fun. Yeah, and I feel like people could, like... It's relatable. It's, yeah, it's relatable. fun. It's, you know... Because I'm sure everybody's going through that breakup, that one horrible friendship that they don't want to let go of. <laughs> the situationship. Situationship. Like, anything. Yeah. Like, there's so many different scenarios in life where... You really just need to let go, yeah. and some people are just so scared. It's or so like, human to like yeah. try and keep keep going. It's like the whole nostalgia thing. It's like yeah. why hoarders exist. Exactly. You know? You're just hoarding this this comforting feeling, which is when it's gone. Very it's, human. When it's gone, it's scary. Yeah. But you progress so much, and mm-hmm. you learn so many new things about yourself, exactly. about what you want in life, what you don't want, mm-hmm. and that's very important to know what you don't want because. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I, I don't want for. is someone who has a partner already. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want Other that. Other than that, it would have been great. It would have been great. You're like, the, the, the bar is low-key on the floor, but all you need is to not have a significant yeah. other, and we're good. Be cool, be tall, be yeah. cute, have curly hair. Exactly. Maybe a little mustache, maybe some tattoos. I'm sorry. Yeah. Big nose, maybe. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, don't you get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> But yeah, that Rather was be like famous instead. For real, exactly. Mm-hmm. That was basically the wrap up. So uh, I think I might actually make this into a series. Light bulb just clicked into my brain. Thank you, China. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if you have um anything you need to let go of, any situation, any relationship, email you. literally email me because we're gonna get down to the bottom of this, and I'm gonna help you leave because. There's nothing worse than feeling stuck in something that you feel like you can never get out of when you mm-hmm. are more than able to get out of. So, yeah. That was the wrap-up. Thank you, China, for <laughs> no telling problem. your little story. <laughs> no Bye. Bye.